Hello, uh, Richard is waiting online. Uh, let me introduce Richard Dejak. Uh, he is based in San Francisco and he was in, in Japan in 2011 uh, to film documentary about uh, Fukushima. It's called the Hibakusha and I, I believe it, it came out in 2012. Um, when he was here in Japan, I interviewed him uh, as part of a TBS uh, news program. And I, I, I went up to Fukushima with Richard and Michael, who's uh, filming here today. And we we'll welcome Richard. Thank you. Hello. How are you guys? Hi. Uh, hey, Rich. Long time. It's been a while. How are you, Joe? Good. Peter, how's it going? <laughs> Wonderful. It's great. It's, it's going very mind. well. Yes. So. Okay. Can you see us or? Can you see us, Richard? Perfect. So thank you so much for having me on today. It's so <laughs> to see so many familiar faces. Yes. And uh, it's been a long also, time. So we have on we have on the line here. We are with uh, Joe. Uh, you know, in in Fukushima, we also have. Uh, I'm not sure if you remember Watanabe Norio. He's in Koryama. Yeah, you interviewed him in in Fukushima. Yes. And his kids. Yes. The high school uh, students. One of the high school students gave me a one piece t shirt in San Francisco. So, in honor of this, I'm wearing a one piece now. That's great. great. We, we, wanted, we wanted to show a little bit of the video you made uh, at that time. So if you're cool, we'll bring that in. Of course. Thanks, Peter. <laughs> when you are younger, well, yeah. you're still young, but <laughs> high school. Almost half the age. <laughs> yes. Uh, I remember that day. Yeah. Was there supposed to be audio? Yeah. Is it there? You ever put it here? Do you want? Right. I, I, I think we're okay. It's just, I'll just hold it in. So. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Well, thank you guys so much for showing that clip. It brings back so many memories for me. Yeah, that was a uh, one of the early trips where we met people. If you remember, uh, we were you were shooting your documentary, and we were on a uh, kind of a washed out bridge at the, at the coast. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, I do. You handle that. Okay, just a second. We have to talk to you. もう、もうすぐ出ますけれども。じゃ、あの、会長さんの、そういう気なので、あの、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、
Yes, of course. So I was 17 years old when I first met you guys, Joe and me and Peter and all. It was quite an experience. I am now 27 years old and I'm trying to help save the planet through alternative energy like solar. And one of the things that I researched in my documentary was the idea of Hibakusha. And I'm interested in hearing how that had progressed. Can anyone share that with me? Uh, Richard, can you go on talking? Yes, of course. So the yeah. idea of Hibakusha, bomb affected people or radiation affected people, is a word that came into being after World War II. Uh, and Richard, can you go on? Sorry? Yeah, it's okay. Go on, please. A word that's been, that's been used since World War II to describe people with radiation poisoning, and it's being described again for the people of Fukushima, and it's very worrisome for them and for me because I don't know what the future is going to be in light of this disaster. Okay, um, and I actually didn't see your documentary in the end. Uh, how, how was it? Did I'm it... waiting to finish it. I'm still okay. want to, I want to hear how it is 10 years on. Okay, so you're going to come back here and keep filming and complete? That's the plan. I yeah. can't wait to see you guys. <laughs> yes, we, we have Good. we have what another son on the line. Norio, you want to say something to Rich? Can you go? What another son? Can you hear me? Hi. Ah, at that time, Richard, you, yes, my son, was interviewed. Can you tell me about that time? Can you hear me? Ah, hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Ah, at 本当に高校生で海外からリチャード君来てくれるってことですごくなんだろう海外の人もすごく興味を持ってくれてるんだなってことですごくなんだろうな話していて自分の中でも振り返りができてとってもいい経験になりました海外でアメリカに高校生の時
it's referred to the people in Fukushima. あの、so he's saying that the the title of the movie was quite impactful, but you know he doesn't feel um it's referred to the the people in Fukushima. It's helpful to know because you know the title is not final, but I'm interested to know how this society is progressing. So thank you for sharing. オッケー。あの、ま、あの、社会 so he's saying the young generations uh you know have little memories and yeah. for more adult generations there are two types of people one who forget to forget one form who remembers still mm. so it's yeah yeah wow that's very powerful mm. So for me, this entire experience has enlightened me to how SafeCast can help save the planet, not just in Fukushima, but even air quality. The thing SafeCast is doing always impresses me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ano, Watanabe san, nani ka no Richard ni shitsumon toka arimasu ka? 10 nen mae to ima to awarete, 10 nen buri ni awarete. えっと、リチャードの質問、えっと、ごめんなさい、あんまり関係ないかと思うんですけど、聞こえ。えっと、そのリチャード君がその so Watanabe san is asking you a question uh that um he's inspired that you know someone who is the same age as you or is him is making a film documentary and he wants to know what you think about you know Fukushima after it's even you know 10 years I'm not afraid. I love Fukushima. The people are amazing and the food is delicious. And I think Fukushima will recover. It will take time. There will be some places that will not be safe for a long, long time, but there will also be some places that will be safe. I'm sure Joe and Ashby can tell you all about that. あの、もう福島の人にすごく良くしてもらって福島のことを愛してますと。で、復興には時間かかるかと思いますけれども、あの、時間かかるプロセスだけれども、きっと良くなると思っています。というふうに言ってます。You're welcome. And finally, I'm if I may, my favorite memory from my trip to Japan was when I created a Skype video call between people who had been impacted by the tornado in Joplin, Missouri, that it, it completely demolished a hospital mm -hmm. and then the Fukushima Daiichi to mm -hmm. hear about the experiences and to hear that conversation people my own age 10 years ago, I don't think anyone had done that. That was very mm -hmm. powerful. Mm -hmm. あの、あの、リチャードはもともと水入り州出身なんですけど、あの、その福島での一番のよく思い出が
あったのがその水利州が竜巻がよく来るんですけど竜巻の被害を受けた町の高校生と,、えー、と福島第一原発の近くの福島の高校生との間にスカイプをしたっていう思い出があって、まあ、それがすごくあの印象に残っていると他にこういうことやった人いないんじゃないかっていうふうに言ってます。So, Richard, when are you planning on coming back to Japan? <laughs> I got my vaccine, so as soon as they let me. Okay. So, you, you already have or you're waiting? I already have, yes. You already have? Wow, that's really early. Wow. I, I, I live in a small town. Possible. Hey, Rich. Thank, yes. thank you so much. It's really been fantastic to see you. And, and to hear you, and I, I think it was fantastic. Watanabe and everybody remembers all the things we had together. So,、uh, you know, it, it brings back a tremendous amount of memories. And, and thank you for being with us. Please stay on and stay on, the, on you know, in the Zoom call and, and participate and, and hang out with all of us today.